Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today I thought I would go ahead and do my September favorites. I don't think I ever even did a, a favorites last month, but <clears throat> what I tried to do is just pick, you guys know most of my favorites, so I tried to pick a few different things, and then there's a few things that you know, but, um, and I didn't do a lot, but anyway, here goes. So, this is something I'm just about out of. This is something Rhonda sent me months ago, and I use this in the shower with my Clarisonic. I just keep it in the shower and so I don't it's an it's the philosophy the micro delivery exfoliating wash <clears throat> and it isn't very harsh but for those of you that think it be, that might be thinking that it's too harsh for the Clarisonic or for every day I don't use it every day I use it probably every other day and um, so I don't know if I would use this every day or twice a day. It might be good enough, but I use it probably about every other day and um, love it. it. I mean, because the retinol or retin-A that I use keeps my face kind of um, flaking and um, that takes it right away. So I love that. I'm almost out of it and I will be getting some more. Uh, this is something else that I am out of and I need to get some more of and it's the Bumble and Bumble White Hair Powder. This is the best dry shampoo I've ever tried. I'm not sure how much it is. I'm sure it's expensive. I got this at the place I get my hair done. And the reason I like this is, there's different colors. I think there's a black and a brown. <clears throat> and don't be, when it says hair powder, it's not like literally hair powder. It is like a spray. This does not have the odor that most of them do, even the perfumey odor. It, um, and it also helps with roots, like if your roots are growing out and you want to make them a little bit lighter. And it doesn't seem to cake up on your scalp like a lot of them do. For instance, the ones I've tried are the um, Bedhead, the one in the red, like the, I'm wanting to say Rockaholic, but I know that's the hairspray. But you know which one I'm talking about. The red, the one in the red and black can. I've tried the Tresemme and the Batiste, and this is by far my favorite. So, love that especially for blondes. Um, this is something that you could probably guess, and it is the Trendsetter Lorac. Lorac, I have such a hard time with changing from, I said Lorac for so many years. But it's just a gloss that I got in that kit, and I have it on today. It seems like even if I try not to wear it, I end up putting it on, because everything just seems to look better with it on. It's just a great gloss. It's great over just with a liner, it's great by itself, and then it's great. Today I have it over the Lorac Baby Doll. That was just a little bit too light for the camera, so I put this on and that made it better. So I just think that everybody, everybody would like this. It's not very sticky, it is thick, but it lasts a long time on your lips. So that's kind of like the trade-off you get with that, but I love it, and I think everybody would like that. I think everybody would like that kit okay. that it comes in too. Um, you probably know about this too, the Lip Fusion XL. I use this every single night and every morning. I put it on before I go to bed and then I put it on after I brush my teeth in the morning. And I think it helps. Even if it doesn't, I love the way it feels and I love the way it doesn't, it doesn't taste bad, doesn't smell bad. I like the way it feels and I like the way it moisturizes my lips. So with all those, it's worth it to me. And then I, I really think it does plump up my lips. And I know it doesn't work for everyone. I think it just depends on the individual person and how much moisture is available for it to pull up. But um, I love it. And it's expensive, but I think it's worth it. And I definitely will repurchase that. This one is something I'm so happy about. And um, I'll be showing this or telling you all about it in my mascara video. But it is the Urban Decay Super Curl. And I didn't have a whole lot of faith in this because I had just tried another Urban Decay mascara, a new one, I can't remember the name of it, but it ran and transferred on me. So I didn't have a whole lot of faith in this, but Rachel Zoe, this was in one of the list of makeups that she uses, and I bought it, this little small one, for I think $9 at Ulta, and I love it. This is what I use for my bottom lashes, and which is kind of funny because the curling agent, I guess, has nothing to do with your bottom lashes, but there's this brush is just shaped perfectly to get right in there at your lashes, and um, it does not transfer. So it works good on the top ones too. It's just 
I've got so many good ones now that I, no matter what I use, I use this on the bottom, and I love it. So go to Ulta and just at least try this little one. You know, it's a good way to try it. And I had a hard time deciding whether I was going to even show you this because I realized this is tough, impossible for us to get here in the U.S., the Rachel K. CC Cream. And I'm going to do a whole video on why I like this better than the Chobo Yang or the Misha, which would be my next two favorites. I am working. I'm going to contact the company if I can this week and see what we can do because it makes me panic to think about not being able to get this too. It is my absolute favorite, but I must say this is what I used before I used the Laura Mercier. I don't think I would like just this. So, you know, don't think that I just use this and that's it. I use this and then the Laura Mercier. And I just think that this, which is what I do with all of them, but this just provides a really good base. Sorry, a little stinker over there was chasing Dexter. And they're, they're buddies and they get along, but she likes to irritate him. And he usually won't run, but I guess he ran that time and gave her a good chase. <laughs> so, um, I'm working on this. And this is the neutral... This is a lot, there's that one video I did where I'm using the light one. This is not as light, although this is still too light for me, but this just provides a great base. And um, I'll get into it more when I do the video on that. Then the last two things that I'm going to show you are my, not Sephora, but my Smashbox Brow Brush. I've been loving this with the browsings. And that's funny because, you know, I had this before and I sold it in a uh, vlog sale, but here it is, it's the light, and I've been just using, the, you can see the wax is the dark side, and the powder is the light side, and what I've been doing is getting the wax and the powder, and really doing the end of the brow, and then trying to concentrate just maybe the powder on the front side, that way it's not quite as dark, and it's not as definite, because I still want it to look like individual hairs, I don't want it to look like a solid eyebrow, um, you know, it's hard to do that with blonde hair. You can do that with dark hair, but I really have liked this. Out of all the pencils and everything, my next favorite would probably be MAC Fling. And then um, I like my other pencils, like my Chanel and my Lancome, but they aren't as small. The point isn't as small. And I really, really, really like this brush. This and the Lise Wache are my favorite, much more than the MAC brushes. So, oh, this is something else I wanted to show you, and I was just going to show you um, in my haul, but I went to, or we went to Costco yesterday, and I bought another one of my makeup mirrors. They still have these for $19.99, and I have just enjoyed this thing so much. I've got it sitting on top of my clear cube so that when I'm getting ready in the morning, I can get really close up to a lit mirror instead of, you know, my mirror was, of course, over my sink, and because it was a fra it's a framed mirror, and my light's above it, <clears throat> if you get right up close, it kind of casts a shadow. So this has just been wonderful for me. And I love it. I just think it's so pretty. And it's got the magnifying side and the regular side. And then it's got the daylight bulbs. And uh, for $19.99, I just don't think you can beat it. So that's why um, I got another one to have out here for um, so I can use it for videos if I need the light. And I can use it for tutorials, and then I can use it in my other room if I want to, you know, if Brooke wants to use or if I want to use it over there. Just, I was scared that I wouldn't get a chance to get another one that good, that cheap. So, I'm going to do a quick out for the day and then let you go. Start your week off nice, and um, I'll be right back. this just pretty plain black sweater from, let's see, I got it at the BCBG Max Ezria whatever outlet in Myrtle Beach, and it's the first time I've worn it, and I love it. If anybody knows where I can get some more sweaters like this that are fitted and just really plain, I would love to know, because this is just a real versatile sweater. These are the Hudson jeans, and um, I did not put a belt on because I just love this yoke. Um, I'm going to see how I like just wearing it without a belt. And then um, these are the um, Michael Kors shoes. I can't remember the name of them, but wedges, they're still available. I know. I see them all over the place. And 
Someone asked me were they uncomfortable, and they were until I loosened the back strap. I just undid it and loosened it a little bit, and now they're really, really comfortable. So, just a casual outfit today, just to run errands. Then for accessories, I have on these. I believe there are Sonia Betone earrings that Rhonda sent me. And this little simple necklace is just a little silver beaded necklace. I believe it's, I got it at Kohl's. I believe it's the Chaps brand. And um, my Michael Kors watch, let's see, wedding ring, just my little um, J.A. from, Jenny Ann from Australia sent this to me, and it's Bars, and I love it. And the nail polish, I'm going to try to wear each one of these this week. And this is the Nails Inc. London, and this is Bruton Street. And it is beautiful, and it went on just beautifully. I love it. Such a pretty color. So, and I don't have a fragrance on yet. <clears throat> I'm still a little, I think it's just allergies. But anyway, I'm getting ready to go run some errands. And um, I hope you guys have a good week, and I will see you real soon. And bye-bye. Um,